If your vehicle is equipped with the mobile entertainment system, you and your passengers can enjoy up to three different audio or video sources at the same time. The system components are the front center display screen, the two rear displays on the back of the front head restraints, a remote controller, two headphones, and the rear auxiliary USB and HDMI ports on the back of the center console. The front display is not available while the vehicle is moving and the remote controller cannot be used in the front seat. To view images in the front seat, the shift lever must be in the park position and the parking brake applied. Sources connected to the auxiliary, HDMI, or USB ports can only be viewed on the rear display screens. Before connecting a device to a port, turn off the power on the portable device. These are the wireless headphones for the rear passengers. Push this switch to turn the headphones on or off. Slide this switch to choose the left or right rear display as the source to play through the headphones. Press this button to choose a mode setting that best suits what is playing. Indicator light next to the selected mode will illuminate. The headphones turn off automatically after several minutes with no sound or after four hours of continuous use. To turn on the rear displays with the remote controller, Press the power button and then slide this switch to select the left or right display. Press the home button and then use these directional keys and the enter button to select a source for the selected rear display. Press this button to play the audio for the selected source through all of the in-vehicle speakers. Press this button to play the audio only through the headphones. Press the menu button to display the operation screen for the selected source. Press the Setup button to adjust various rear display settings. To control the rear displays from the front seat, press the Audio button. Touch Rear Display. Select the left or right display. Then select an available source. Additional options are available to turn the rear displays on or off, mute the audio, or adjust rear sound control. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating information.